Hey, gamers, today we're going to talk about one of the most highly anticipated characters in the Honkai franchise, Seal. Who's making her way to Honkai, Star Rail is the first limited event banner character. Seal is an iconic character in the Honkai universe, and her arrival has been eagerly awaited by fans of the series. Seal enters Honkai, Star Rail is a five-star hunt path character, utilizing the quantum element just like in Honkai Impact 3rd. While little is known about her personality in Honkai, Star Rail, players will have the opportunity to learn more about her story and character as they progress through the game. It's fascinating to see how some characters maintain their unique traits and personalities across different iterations in the Honkai universe. Seal's fresh design in Honkai, Star Rail closely resembles her appearance as Seal Valere in Honkai Impact 3rd, which is sure to excite longtime fans of the franchise. Now, the question on everyone's mind is, is it worth pulling for Seal in Honkai, Star Rail? The short answer is yes. Seal is a powerful character in Honkai, Star Rail, and her kit and hunt path are focused on dealing single target damage, making her an excellent choice for players looking for a powerful damage dealer. As a character that utilizes the quantum element, Seal has a unique advantage in that she is capable of delaying the action of enemies, while also being one of the faster characters in terms of action order. This combination of high single target damage and the ability to delay enemy actions makes Seal an excellent choice for players looking for a character that can excel in both single single target and multi-enemy combat scenarios. <sighs> However, players may find it challenging to build her properly, even if they have acquired her. Seal, like other characters, will require suitable relics and light cones to enhance her stats and abilities, which can significantly increase her damage output. Unfortunately, players will not have access to high-level domains that drop 5-star relics, nor will they have access to a wide variety of light cone options at the launch of the game. Another thing to keep in mind is that the gacha system in Honkai, Star Rail can be expensive, especially for limited-time characters like Seal. Players will need to be consistent in playing and completing most of the content to earn enough Stellar Jade until her banner ends. This currency is required to purchase the Star Rail Special Pass and utilize the limited character event banner. If players are unlucky with the pity system, they may need to spend real currency to acquire her. In conclusion, Seal is an excellent addition to any player's roster, particularly for those looking for a reliable damage dealer that can excel in a variety of different situations. Players will need to pay attention to her energy, action priority, and other factors in order to fully utilize her potential. With that said, we hope this video has been informative and has helped you make a decision about whether or not to pull for seal in Honkai, Star Rail.